Moton Kaplan is the pioneer in uh, <coughs> applying uh, systems theory to international politics in his book, Systems and Process in International Politics, 1957. Uh, he proposed six types of uh, international political systems. Uh, three are actual, historical, their balance of power system, bipolar, loose bipolar and tight bipolar. And then he proposed three more systems which are hypothetical. Okay. So what are these six systems? Uh, the first system is called a balance of power system. Balance of power system is what we call multipolar. And uh, he said, uh, usually they would be between five to seven. And uh, you call this balance of power system when no actor is permitted to be more powerful. So this multipolar system was there at one time and broke down in the early 20th century. Um, okay. And next you have um, breaking down means it was uh, the balance broke down and uh, we got into war. Next, loose bipolar. Loose bipolar means it is bipolar where two nations form two blocks. Okay. But then internal differences within these blocks are very high. Okay. And then other supranational and regional actors are there. Some are not aligned. Okay. Loose bipolar is you have one system, another system, uh, sorry, this is one block, this is another block, but they are not so close and there are so many in between. And then there is a role for IGOs. To the extent inter international governmental organizations play a role, uh, their polarity is undermined. To the extent that neutral players are there, polarity is undermined. To the extent that these are not tight, polarity is undermined. So he is calling them uh, loose bipolar. But what happens if it is tight bipolar? It is very clear. Each block is dominated by a power. IGOs are weak and no neutral, no neutral nations. Okay. So one is about multipolarity and another is about bipolarity. Bipolarity classified into two. And, uh, <clears throat> and then uh, he proposed uh, three more systems. These are hypothetical systems. The world has not seen anything like this. One is universal. In this universal system, all nations 
come into a federal system and there is an international organization. It means it is similar to a world government. The world has not seen anything like this. Next, the hierarchical system. One nation controlling all other nations. All other nations. N1, N2, N3. Like this. One nation controlling. This also nobody has seen this. Okay. And unity veto system in which each state is equally powerful, say due to nuclear weapons. So equal power, this the world hasn't seen. So uh, essentially, um, the useful or empirically valid systems that he proposed, are only two, multipolar and bipolar. Okay. And then uh, Kaplan discussed uh, how these systems function, how these systems function. What he uh, wanted to say, let us pay attention to his approach, is that these are the conditions for multipolarity. These are the conditions for bipolarity. This is how he was discussing. So let us take, to examine his theory, let us take uh, one case of I mean, the conditions of multipolarity and then uh, see how far uh, Kaplan's uh, conditions are valid. Okay. So what did he say about under what conditions multipolarity uh, is sustained? This is what he gave. Kaplan gave six rules for balance of power. Six rules for um, balance across multiple powers is maintained. Okay. What are these rules? The first says, act to increase capabilities, but negotiate rather than fight. That is, when you can have power, you try to have power. Act to increase capabilities, but negotiate rather than fight. So negotiation is better than fighting. Negotiation is better than fighting. So act to increase, but negotiate rather than fight. Negotiation is superior to fight. This is the first law. First rule. Second, fight rather than pass up an opportunity to increase capabilities. But fight rather than pass up an opportunity. Pass up. So negotiation better than fighting, but fighting better than passing up an opportunity. Okay. Next he says, stop fighting rather than eliminate an essential national actor. He thinks that a national actor is not to be eliminated. That is how system operates. Stop fighting rather than eliminate a national actor. So, uh, non elimination is very important. Non elimination is better than fighting. So, you can say 
this is this. Non-elimination is better than fighting. So, act to oppose a single act. Okay. So, this third thing also is included. Okay. So, this is what we have understood. And he also gives some more. Act to oppose any coalition or a single actor which tends to assume position of predominance with respect to the rest of the system. Don't let anybody go beyond the system. Okay, this one he's saying. Next, act to constrain actors who subscribe to international organizing, organizing principles like IGOs or who respect international law. This don't encourage. And next, permit defeated or constrained essential national actors to re-enter the system as acceptable role partners. For example, one nation is defeated, but again, let him re-enter. Okay. So, through these uh, six rules, balance is to be maintained. So, as long as these six rules are there, the first model will exist. Okay. So these are the conditions that Kaplan gave to see that the world has multipolarity. Okay. And anything other than bipolarity is multipolarity. So this is how Kaplan defined. So it is here and this, the insistence approach, these are supposed to be generalizations or he called them rules. Okay. And uh, one way to examine these uh, rules is um, to see how uh, multipolar systems are working. For example, when there is a multipolarity, does multipolarity follow these rules? That is one way of verifying the Kaplan system. And that was done. This is one such case. Chinese warlord system is a multipolar system. And uh, He Sheng Chi analyzed Chinese war law system in 1968. Chinese war law system existed long ago. So it was from historical data. So his conclusions are like this. First of all, there are not more than three actors. Okay. And then he says, rules three to six are constantly violated. But still, the balance of power system existed between 1916 to 1928 in China. So, the scholar's viewpoint is that even though um, multipolar systems are not following those rules, they are remaining multipolar. So, what is the sanctity of Kaplan's rules? So, he says, it was a balance of power system in which the actors either deliberately or unwittingly violated many of the essential behavioral rules which are necessary for the stability of the system, which according to Kaplan are necessary for the stability of the system. system. Okay. So, um, he she um, questions that uh, how far these rules are valid. Okay, um, but one can ask, what is systems? How did systems approach help? Because this study is no different from non-system historical analysis. Okay, but of course, except that if from he is using that analysis to see whether Kaplan is right or wrong. Okay, so what is the basis for Kaplan's six conditions is not clear. 
next one more study is made on it uh, on italian city states done by frank he divided the italian city states um, during 1300 to 1494 into three phases he says between 1300 to 1425 five of the essential rules are violated and from 1425 to 74 and 1474 to 94 these were also balance of power systems but essential rules not violated so he means that even when those rules are violated balance of power system was was there and even when they are not when they are not violated it was also there so these empirical studies show that uh kaplan six rules uh are not empirically valid okay and then three of the systems he proposed never existed okay um but even with the limitations of uh, kaplan's approach but we we have we were getting some clarity about the systems approach it is about making certain um generalizations so making certain generalizations so here in terms of six rules and then um see how far they are apl applicable applicable and not applicable okay so in this entire process we are trying to arrive at generalizations through uh, history okay so systems approach it doesn't mean anything like physical models or need not be com computer models it is simply uh, a kind of generalizations through Uh, history broadly speaking uh, thank you